and gentlemen, friends and family of Hannemühle, you're tuned into the virtual open house live. We're sending from Dussel today for you. And a particular warm welcome I would like to offer to the global audience of photographer, photo enthusiasts, printers, also print service providers around the globe. My name is Danny Mikalski. I am hosting this session live for you. I have wonderful people next to me. I'm going to introduce these two as well in a minute. We're going to find out a lot about digital fine art printing from Hannemühle. We are actually live launching a new product for you right now, right here. And uh, for me, this is very exciting. I hope for you as well. Everyone's very excited here, I have to tell you. The next 30 to 40 minutes is going to be for you a dive into the world of Hanemil's famous digital art papers and also the latest innovation. You know, and uh, we know, Hannemühle is considered the inventor of digital fine art papers for inkjet printing. As a pioneer and at the same time being the oldest German paper manufacturer on a super high level, um, they've been refining a real artist papers for photography, for art reproductions, and always keeping those very, very high standards. So um, actually, we're celebrating. Okay, Hannemühle is celebrating the 25th jubilee in digital fine art printing. If we had an audience, I'm sure we'd get a round of applause right now. <laughs> well, we're doing this virtually for you since the Creative Art Fair in Frankfurt is not happening. This is happening for you at home. So get comfortable, open up your senses and get ready for a new launch of products. So before we get into the details of these products, I would like to introduce to you my, well, to colleagues of today, Alexander Cattelleri and Evelyn Eisermann. It's so good to have you guys here next to me. Would you like to um, talk a little bit about, about yourself, your passion of Hannemühle, and um, welcome you guys. Hi. Hi, I'm Evelina Eisermann. I'm responsible for the digital, fine art and everyday photo marketing and communication. I'm excited to be here today to talk about our natural line and everything else. And who knows, maybe Alexander, Danny and I can convince you of a paper you've never heard of before. Amazing. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Everyone's so excited and a little bit nervous. I just looked at the screen and you look fantastic. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, does she look good on screen or does she look good on screen? But Alexander, you look fantastic as well. It's great to have you by my side. Tell us a little bit more Thank about you yourself. Thank you very much. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Alexander and I'm the uh, product manager and uh, business development manager for the fine art papers within Hahnemühle. Um, I'm more than happy to be here today and have the opportunity to um, take you with me into this world of sustainable uh, products that we have. Hannemühle Natural Line actually is um, something that we created years back with the first product was bamboo. The Natural Line has a very special place uh, within our line um, as it is completely made with renewable uh, resources and sustainable fibers. Um, Hannemühle, and we talked it earlier, is a um, very classical um, paper maker, and ever since Hannemühle's business was founded and uh, think about it, 1584, we've been producing really first-rate paper using natural resources that we found around here. Pure water, pure fibers, and that's uh, since uh, 2008 that we came up with an initiative called um, the Green Rooster Initiative, that is that we all say it's um, um, proceeds of the natural line actually go to the green rooster funds. And these funds help to finance um, reforestation projects, natural wow. conservation projects. And, and we are very proud that together with you, our customers um, and valued clients, we can make this world a little better. Bamboo, hen hemp, and agave, these are our classical natural line fibers and products. These plants all provide cellulose that require much minimum maintenance, and in fact, much less than a normal wood would, and they grow rapidly. Um, they don't need pesticides, herbicides, chemicals to grow, 
And a rapid growth means um, that more cellulose is actually uh, produced than otherwise would with classical wood. The cropland um, that um, is used by these plants, and they're all the same, does um, give much more um, CO2 conserving fibers than could other, otherwise with classical plants. And that, that will save and really um, conserve valuable resources. And we all know how scarce uh, water is. And we really have this initiative to help save the environment. Wow, and that would be another great applause right there, right here. So vegan, eco-friendly, and really thinking forward, even though being like the oldest German paper manufacturer on a super, super high level. Thank you for that little input. But what I'm wondering, what, how did these papers came to come to? I mean, what inspired these papers? Um, it's actually pretty simple, and Alexander already mentioned a few of the facts. We here in Dessel, we're close to an environmentally protected area, mm -hmm. so there are a lot the Zolling, of right? yes. Zolling Hills, right? Zolling Hills, right? Mm -hmm. So um, there are a lot of special and legal requirements we have to obey when we're taking action or making decisions. So to us, it was obvious that we have to stay here in Dessel due to one particular reason: need pure spring water. Water is super important for paper making, and here in Dessel, we have the purest water probably close to us when you look further around. Yeah. And um, we don't need to add any chemicals to it. We can directly use it from the source, add it into a production, and even return it to the water system as wow. high quality water. I know there's some also some inside jokes that say there's other companies um, that actually don't have your clean water that should have it, but you do have it. It's a source the same place where the company's been for over 400 years. But so far, I've only heard of like digital fine art papers for inkjet printing made out of cotton and cellulose. True. Right? Because we are so focused on sustainability and it's part of our history as we're here since 1584 and it's part of our DNA, we decided to take it a step further. We do not only use our pre pure spring water and do not add chemicals, we decided to go and do more to be sustainable. We're using renewable energy resources for electricity, for example. We have wow. a waste heat recovery system, which wow. is helping us to lower our emissions. And we also have a really, really established source management. For paper making, cotton or alpha cellulose is the mm -hmm. more, most popular raw material. The raw material we're using for our paper making when it comes to cotton papers is actually a byproduct of a byproduct. Mm -hmm. When you look at a cotton plant, the white bushy parts actually go to the textile industry. Mm -hmm. Then the byproduct of the whole cotton plant, the black parts, actually go to the oil industry. Uh -huh. And then we are using the byproduct of the last byproduct, the small fibers around the seeds, yeah. which we then could use for paper making. And oh, same wow. goes for the alpha cellulose for a couple of papers. We're only using alpha cellulose, alpha cellulose, difficult word. Yeah, okay. alpha cellulose, we can all practice saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that comes from sustainably managed forests and also forests which are certified. So being sustainable is really, really huge for us due to our location. And then it was kind of obvious for us that we had to take it a step further and look for other alternative fibers and resources. And then we and the team had a look and that's how the natural line was born. Wow, super impressive. I mean, in the sense of sustainability, that's another one of those words, sustainability, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alpha cellulose, I practice that one now. Um, you can't really top what you guys have been doing at Hannemühle, so we can basically call the natural line also the green line and um, that kind of embodies Hannemüller's passion and know-how but also the innovative strength and the respect for the environment and that is something that's super important in this day and age. So we know that Hannemüller's quality papers will last for generations, not just decades, maybe even, well, who knows? We won't live to see, you know, but our future generations will see, oh, it's a Hannemüller paper, perhaps. Um, so we're super environmentally friendly. Alexander, now we're actually launching a new line yet again, right? What is it? Introduce it to us, please. Yeah, um, the Hannemüller natural line has a history, and let me first pick on the history of the natural line. We were 
going with this, the idea for quite a while. And the first three papers that are in the line are all 290 GSM papers. And like I explained earlier, it's bamboo, it's hemp, and it's agave. And these papers, um, and we started that because we wanted to use papers that are based on fast-growing crops. So Evelina has a sample here um, to give you a um, heads up on bamboo, for instance, which is the first one that we launched in this line. And um, if you think on the earth, um, a bamboo plant, and we have these crops around us uh, to give you um, those um, pictures, the bamboo plant itself grows more than a meter a day. Think right about here. it. And they are spread all over the place, especially on undemanding um, grounds and soil that is depleted. So bamboo doesn't need fertilizers. Uh, it does come with no need for chemicals, no pesticides, and it will survive on much less water uh, than other um, similar uh, trees. And it will bind, and that's why we used it, it will bind abundant amounts of CO2 and will actually take carbon gases out of the environment and the atmosphere. Um, so we are strong believer that these um, crops should gain more importance in all areas, especially also in our area, the photo uh, graphy and the photo papers. For instance, did you know that uh, Thomas Alva Edison in 1880 come up with a light bulb and he used carbonized bamboo fibers for the bulb? I didn't Very know that. Very interesting. I didn't and know that. And he managed to uh, get 1,000 hours of uh, lights out of bamboo fibers. Or also it was used in these days when the gramophones had pickup sticks mm -hmm. in the old uh, gramophones and bamboo was also the material of choice because it's very long lasting, it's very sustainable and you don't need to come up with an artificial uh, material to do this. Wow. And we actually found this material and we used it as the first fine art inkjet paper on earth uh, with 90% of the bamboo fibers. Mm -hmm. That is almost uh, 10 or more years back um, when we started experimenting. And it was very successful. And the wine, um, warm white tones, and, and Evelina may have a sample for you, uh, we don't need no optical brighteners. We don't need no chemicals mm -hmm. to make it look and shine the way it does. And it stands out, uh, really stands out. It has a soft, lightly textured felt structure and a very sensual feel. And that's what the artists that use it a lot like so much about it. It really comes across very natural. Again, what makes it premium is the mud premium inkjet coating on top. The mud inkjet coating delivers excellent printing results, defined reproduction of color and the details and also particular warm use and for um, very nicely uh, used for monochrome prints. Uh -huh. Again, like most of our papers, it's acid and lignin free. It meets the most stringent requirements in terms of age resistance, which is important for galleries or museums. And I mean, to come to a FATSI, the unique combination between the sustainable fibers on the one hand, and then also the surface texture and the, um, the coating, makes a print quality that is outstanding and really provides expressiveness and soul to each of these photographs. That's what it um, gives to um, the people that like it so much. Amazing. So sustainability is a, re a huge topic, acid-free uh, material also not being bleached, super high quality, flexible, strong bamboo. Um, I have to say I learned a lot. I don't know about you. <laughs> We're going to keep learning. This is just only the beginning. You have mentioned hemp and agave also t being part of the natural line. Evelyn, what is the your favorite one and why of these natural line? Um, if I had to pick between hemp and agave, I think I would go with the hemp paper. Why? For, <laughs> <laughs> for several why? reasons, of course. <laughs> um, one itself, hemp as a fiber, is one of the oldest and most diverse fibers we have in uh -huh. the world. Used for 10,000s of years, part of monumental events and innovations. The first Bible Gutenberg, for example, printed was on hemp paper. Wow. Or the first draft of the American Constitution printed on hemp paper. Wow. And Henry Ford even made a whole car out of hemp fibers <laughs> and fueled it even with hemp petrol or gas, so something this like it. that. Ah. So hemp really historical plant. Yeah. And then if you look at the sustainable part of it, you can use the whole plant from the stems over to the leaves and even the small seeds can be used in various industries. 
similar to the bamboo, it doesn't require a lot of water, mm -hmm. pesticides, no special soil needed. And adding to it, no, yeah, that mentioned no water, less pesticides, growing super fast, mm -hmm. so a lot of fiber which you mm -hmm. can use. And then we took this fantastic plant and made, made a paper out of it. And now we have this beautiful hemp paper, 60% hemp, 40% cotton to give it still this nice silky touch Feel, that we have. Yeah. Yes. Um, nice Show us, just hang on, just let's see that for a second. Wow. Color. So the, the texture, is that, what finish is that? It's a matte finish, yeah. like all our natural papers mm -hmm. are. Beautiful texture, natural white, no mm. optical brightness as with all our natural, wow. natural line papers. No bleach, Ve nothing. No nothing. Bleach. Vegan, uh, linen and acid free, and as well THC free, which is important yeah. to mention yeah, yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah, you don't want people eating it no. because and they think um, something's in there. The print, <laughs> the, the print, <laughs> the print <laughs> quality is amazing as well. The nuances stand out beautiful. Yeah. The blacks really shine. Yeah. Colors are beautifully reproduced. And on top of it, why I really like the hemp paper is that we used it for an international fundraiser, photo fundraiser. We donated a lot of paper within the framework of our Green Rooster initiative, which Alexander mentioned in yeah. the beginning. And more than 180 wildlife photographers came together, donated images. They were all printed on our beautiful hemp paper, which oh, wow. was picked by the photographers themselves. And then they were sold for a really, really good price and then sent over the world and supported the African wildlife and communities during the difficult times of COVID. And the best part of it, that it took the world by storm and even Leonardo DiCaprio and the Ellen Show promoted it. So wow. our hand paper was yeah. really all over the news and okay. all over the world. Fascinating. There Probably one of my favorite papers. From Look at line. that, Leonardo DiCaprio's post. I believe that is on Twitter, maybe. Uh, for much, oh, that's Instagram. Okay. For much of Africa, wildlife tourism. Wow, that's big. I mean, you're starting. I mean, starting to be famous, not starting to be famous. Here, Ellen, the Ellen Show. Also, look at the hype. It's not a hype. It's quality. It's the history, it's the sustainability, it's yeah, the green and natural line being eco-friendly and just really it's 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 good that finally like international Hollywood stars are talking <laughs> about it. That's quite amazing. Super impressive if you ask me. Wow. So that's a perfect medium to show impressive wildlife imagery, for example, and um, therefore you're also the best ambassador for sustainable nature environment protection, as you just said. So now we're gonna have another component, another extra part in the natural line, it being agave. What's the difference or the speciality in comparison to bamboo and hemp, Alexander? Yeah, agave is a very, very special one. Um, again, it's a historical uh, crop that's found all over the place. It's a big part is related to the material itself. Agave, we commonly know and refer to it as sisal. Sisal fibers ah. have been originally located okay. in uh, Mexico and from there they spread worldwide. And you see the leaves. And what we use is actually these leaves. Um, what is um, the sustainable aspect of this one is um, that it will grow on very undemanding and very dry grounds. And um, the fiber itself that we use and others is traditional as it was used as rope, yarns, carpets, geotextiles, mattresses. So it's, everyone is very much familiar with sisal, but we found that it can be also used as a basis for a sustainably made fine art inkjet paper and very successful. So the plants was also used as cigarette papers, for instance, give you some examples. So um, in banknotes, wow. um, the, the piece that we like about it is again, that there's parts in the world which crops typically don't want to grow much, deserts or almost deserts. So these crops, and you have the agave plant here with the leaves, Aha. it's there very, it is. very um, scarce um, on water. Right there. And it does not need fertilizers. It doesn't uh, require pesticides. And that makes it sustainable. And uh, if you think about it, one plant needs about only four years to grow before it's really ready to mm -hmm. harvest. It's not like a tree. A mm -hmm. tree may need 10 or more years. Mm -hmm. In the growing phase, other plants like corn or beans 
um, will be cultivated between the agave plants, which makes um, the monoculture go, uh, go away and the um, humification of the um, harvest residue can actually be used as a natural fertilizer within these uh, cultivation. Oh, interesting. Cultivation. So what we like about is that it's really something that you can do for centuration, um, um, centuries without really depleting or erasing the soil. So the leaves of the agave is what we use and then what's left over and in one plant, give you one more fact, one plant can be used up to 15 years. Wow. So it will keep growing these leaves and the leaves is what we have in our um, nice fine art papers um, for the agave line. So it augments the natural line with, with this inkjet paper. Um, it's produced these fibers and 70% of the paper and uh, Evelina has a sample here for you. 70% of the pulp that we have in the paper is actually made out of agave wow. uh, fibers. And um, the remains typically is made of what we typically use is the linters coming from the cotton plant. Mm -hmm. And um, like other papers, it's a little different. It comes with a bright white uh, natural tone. It does not contain any optical brighteners to come to this um, effect and rough yet delicately defined surface texture it was it uh, provides and it gives the subject a really captivating sense a captivating sense mm -hmm. of the three-dimensional appearance and sure. it press it with a sev um, really nice and that's why we have gloves here a nice and pleasant soft touch and feel this is what uh, makes these papers so special the inkjet coating again is a super high-end uh, coating it provides super uh, Reproduct, uh, reproduction quality of color, density, depth, and contrasts. Um, like many papers, and especially those in the natural line, is absolutely acid lignin free, meets the most stringent requirements of the age resistance. And even the lining is a vegan, right? I was just talking exactly. about that. Exactly. I mean, amazing. everything that we use, there's only five ingredients in these papers. And, and basically, there's fiber, there's water, we talked about the water, mm -hmm. there's chalk. Um, and it, like a binder, and, and there's some um, binding element. Mm -hmm. And you could use um, animal um, products. Uh, chemicals, products to do this, but we completely, um, since years, we completely erased them from the supply. So all our products are really um, vegan, and also in a way that we can pr um, have these images stay the way they are for hundreds of years, even on, under UV uh, right. Light and that makes them so special in um, in the high end photography because Super you don't want to have colors fading away on you. So this is what 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 they and what that they bring. is really exceptional. No, that's the difference. That's outstanding, yeah. and that's why the hype is big, but it's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No, um, so this is the, the features, and and we really and encourage everyone to get a sample pack because these sample packs show all of the natural line and then you can try and, and, and find for yourself the optimum match between what your image is and the paper um, that is in, in the sample. So we have them all here, they all belong to the natural line and, and it's really an interesting journey to see your um, image shine and impress others on these natural substrates. I am impressed, I do have to tell you, <laughs> I have literally. So global challenges like, uh, yeah, obviously climate change and the uncertain availability of resources are forcing us, or Hanna Müller in particular, to change the mindset as the whole world is now changing. You are right up the front, right up top, right in the game. With a natural line, you show these innovative ways and how to do it, where to start, which options one has. So now, this is really exciting, we're launching something completely brand new. Um, we have it sitting right next to me. This is the fourth print. And um, Alex, tell me a little bit about this sample, what we have here. It's, not, it's noted sugar cane. I remember in Jamaica, I once had it. It's sweet, it's yummy. Yep. But wow, that's the launch of the sugar cane line right here, right now. And also, I just want to say that you do good. I mean, you're sustainable, you're vegan, you're eco-friendly, but you also do good with a photo fundraiser like Prince for Wallop. Bravo. So please tell us about yeah, the sugarcane. I'm more than happy to. Um, I have a few stems here from a sugarcane plant and it, it looks or it comes across almost like a bamboo, but it's um, different the way it grows and the way it's used for. 
So again, what we use with the sugarcane plant is a waste or byproduct of the production. We use the bagasse fibers. The bagasse fibers are uh, coming out of the stalk um, if the sugar processing um, is uh, underway and then the sugar has been extracted. So ah. we use what's actually left over. Um, otherwise, it would have been um, incinerated or even thrown away. So we use something that's there anyways. Um, give you some background on sugar cane, uh, cane, um, cane as a plant. So this one originated in New Guinea, gradually spread across Southeast Asia, into China, India, then into the Pacific. So one, one plant can really produce several stalks. And we have a plant here next to us, yeah. also give you some idea. So um, a plant is not a stalk, a sim uh, single one, but multiple. Each stalk, which can grow three to seven meters, um, become <laughs> fully mature in four to 12, um, uh, 12 to tw 14 months. So they, they really grow um, quickly. And uh, what we have is not the plant itself. We won't grow it for, for making um, inkjet paper, but um, there is all these production waste which we can use and which we can actually um, make into very useful, um, uh, very useful material for what we need. And the whole natural line to include everything was TIPA awarded. We have the TIPA award here with us. It was TIPA awarded. Um, as this is the first sustainable ways of uh, creating a photo inkjet paper. The um, sugarcane paper comes in a 300 GSM, so it's a little more heavy mm -hmm. uh, than the 290s. Um, it's 70% it's uh, eco-friendly uh, bagasse fibers. The rest is, again, a mixture between the uh, cotton and, and the bagasse. And really what sugarcane um, is so great about is the texture. If you look closely, um, and we have a close-up here, it has, again, this very super special felt texture on top of it, which makes the image, and we have a nice embedded um, a shrine here uh, picked, so it's kind of a mixture between a classic object and then also the nature around it. So is it, it doesn't contain these optical brighteners. Um, it's clearly defined in the structure. It has this tactical feel, Matte premium inkjet coating, excellent print results, super quality, impressive print quality. The, the, the contrast is so much uh, enhanced. And um, again, we like it because it has all these credentials. It's acid lignin free, it's archival, and a unique combination, really fibers and the structures and the uh, impressiveness of the artwork coming through with the three dimensional appearance really makes this. With, with print expressions and so. So that the image will speak, it will transport its impression to, it comes alive. It comes alive, that, that's, that's the right way to put it. Amazing, wow, so you were experiencing a launch of Sugarcane, a new addition to the natural line and <clears throat> now something even like it all day is like full of excitement we're gonna go meet with one of your colleagues and you're like hmm, there's another, another colleague coming no he's actually sitting in the states it's quite late where he is um <laughs> that colleague is travis travis mcconaughey he has experience with sugarcane so one of the first ones in america to work with sugarcane and um so we're gonna connect with him and because he's ex he's, he's experienced with the sugar cane um, and therefore we want to hear how he feels about it how he's tested it and to get some feedback from Travis McConaughey is he with us now yeah there you are hey a very warm welcome to you it's still early in the day it was midday how are you are you holding up it's late good to have you here <laughs> uh, I'm doing good uh, it's more early than late but but it's it's good um, Hello from outside of Chicago, by the way. Oh, Chicago uh, calling, cool. <laughs> Tell us something. You were one of the lucky ones to try and test this newly launched product, if the natural line by Hannemühle, the sugar cane. Tell us something about it. Uh, the sugar cane, uh, well, as Evelyn and Alexander have said, as part of the natural line, uh, I had the pleasure of testing it and uh, refining it because we've, we've done multiple makings to try to get it just right. Uh, I did work closely with a certified studio out of Hawaii to, 
to work with it to get just the right texture and feel and coating on it to come out with the premium product that you're seeing today. Uh, it's a nice natural white that, that prints earth tones and everything just, just beautifully. And the studio in Hawaii has also uh, produced things from the Hawaiian sunsets and um, their own sugar cane fields on it as well. Super cool. So um, were, you ex were you expecting sugar cane or was this like, wow, this is kind of new. Why didn't we come up with this earlier? Were you like, wow, I'm ready for sugar cane. I've been waiting for sugar cane. <laughs> uh, well, I guess a little bit of, of both. Uh, we did have a sugar cane uh, paper many, 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 many years ago. Uh, but at the time, there was a, a supply issue with the actual um, getting the bagasse for the for it. Uh, it's probably 2011, maybe. Uh, so over 10 years ago, and then it was actually the studio in Hawaii and myself that tried to get it developed again. Um, and then we we started refining it and testing it once everything came back into play from a supply standpoint. And um, that's where we, we launched it up from there with them testing it and us getting the proper texture and inkjet coating. And there's a, a lot more that goes into building a, a premium paper than one might think. Yeah, I, c I can imagine it, it being uh, that standard of super high quality, it being su the s sustainability part, eco-friendly, vegan. I mean, especially because I grew up in the digital world. I mean, not digital, analog world, but with the photo paper. So and I was thinking it can't be natural. That was such a contrast <laughs> to, to combine in my head. But now I'm learning a lot and it is possible with yeah, the experience of 400 years. Hanamiru was the first one to start digital fine art 25 years ago. Yes. And now Bamboo has been launched. Would you like to share any other insights or anything you'd like to add, Travis? Oh, the, uh, just going with the whole natural line in general, uh, because I've been watching as, as I've been sitting here. Uh, the natural line from a sustainability standpoint is, is fantastic. I'm, I've been with Hanamula for a little over 10 years now, wow. and uh, to just to see the natural line grow in general from bamboo to hemp and agave and now the sugar cane, uh, I think it's, it's going to be a very good thing in general for the environment from a premium paper standpoint with everything being natural uh, without chemicals input to the papers. And then with this sugar cane and the, the wonderful texture that it has, that just makes all these natural images just pop out with the, the subtle felt texture that Alexander was talking about earlier. Uh, I'm just very excited to be using this more and testing more and to see the natural line in general grow. Uh, it's just an exciting time to get into everything that has to do with the sustainability aspect. Super, Travis. Um, I'm afraid that's it already. I'd like to hear much more. <laughs> Thank you for staying up that late and have a good night now. Thank you so much for the insights and bye-bye from Dussel, Chicago. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Travis. All right. Thank you for having me. Thanks, thanks for being with us. So now uh, the question is, we've heard so much about it and I'm sure a lot of customers, users, artists, photo artists are like, <gasps> where can I test? Where can I try, where can I get a feel, and where can I buy these beautiful papers of the natural line, especially now, and of course, sugar cane. What do you, th I mean, that's the one thing is, you know, we're, we're launching today, you can produce and you can sell them right now, you're ready, you're in, a, yeah. You can pre-order it right now, but we have something special. Ah. We, we thought it's, it's helpful. We have now four papers in the natural line. Ooh. Maybe it's useful to have a small test kit. Yeah. So photographers can do small test prints and then compare and find the perfect paper that matches their style, matches their vision for a photo. So we have sample packs in two sizes, in A4 and A3+. Uh, plus. So there are the sample packs containing two sheets per natural line paper, and then they can just randomly cut, print, text, t and experiment, essentially. For the sugar cane, we have an introductory kit, which contains three sheets. Okay. So a little bit more to experiment to really get the, the, feel. the feel for it. And um, it's only available in F4, but 
the sugar cane will soon be available, like all the other natural lime papers, in sheets and in rolls, in up to sizes of A2 and 50 inch. Like you mentioned before, soon you can run to the dealer or online shop of your trust, go check them, they will have it ready for you, and if not, they're more than happy to order it yes. so you can test it. Exactly. If you're unsure where to find the next dealer, if you're new, if you're first time watching Hanne Müller, um, no problem. Hop onto our homepage after the session, please, <laughs> and uh, use our Find a Dealer search. Just type in your location, hit the mark for the digital fine art papers, and then the next store around your corner will pop, pop up. Pop up. Yes. Magic. If you want yes. for looking for more information, maybe our homepage in general is a good source. Our Hanni Müller blog, where a lot of articles about our natural line and our sustainability pursuits. And of course, Instagram, Hanimula underscore imaging, always up to date with the latest news. Well said, well done. There it is. Also for you to check out all the content. You're always up to date. You always get the new infos. And I also have some other good news. Um, great content as well. You're such like specialists and you really do everything with love and passion. Great content. So go on to Instagram account from Hannah Müller and um, I have another little surprise for you. So that's all really awesome to be honest. It's just awesome. I'm sorry to say that's so American <laughs> awesome but it is. We've launched, you've launched Sugarcane today in, in another addition to the sustainable green paper ra range of Hanamu, the natural line, sugar cane. How amazing. Now I have a little, a little surprise for you. Don't miss your chance to win a natural line sample pack and sugar cane introductory kit on Instagram of Hanamu. You've just seen it. It's Hanamula underscore imaging. imaging. That's what you need to write down right now. And then you can be a lucky winner and get your first kits to test. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Alexander, so much for the insights about sustainable Hanamula papers from the natural line range. And the newest introduction, the addition is sugar cane. Very, very cool. You just saw the Instagram account again of Hannah Müller. That's bamboo, super strong, super flexible, quality, super high standard. Um, I'm very impressed. Um, I don't know about you, but we're going to keep going as impressive as uh, this. You, you got to stay tuned to not miss uh, the next session. We're going to be back at 1.30 p.m. to learn more about Hanamula Artist Papers and Stationery, which is also a huge range. It's such a like, wow, it's, it's very variable. It's all kind of sizes, all kinds of things that you're going to learn. I've learned a lot. Thank you so much for the, all the input. Really Thanks also, also to Travis. Stay tuned. We'll be back at 1.30 p.m. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> Thank you.